A Brandon woman shattering the glass ceiling on the sidelines. Sarah Thomas will become the first permanent NFL referee later this year. 16 WABD's Bert Case tried to track her down. You do a good job for them. They don't stay on you too much. We went to her home at Arbor Landing at the reservoir, but she was not there, so we left a message. Sarah Thomas is a pharmaceutical sales representative full time now, but she loves sports. She put it this way in an earlier interview with WAPT Sports. I would much rather be at a sports function than I would at a ballet or a dance recital. In 2009, she talked about the possibility of going to the NFL. It's just there's nothing like the atmosphere in a stadium with 35 to 75,000 people. Just hearing the national anthem, seeing these kids getting prepared to compete on this football field. So it's just it's exciting. The executive director of the Mississippi Sports Hall of Fame, Rick Cleveland, has interviewed her several times and written stories about her. He has nothing but respect for her. You'd never know she was a female until uh, unless you knew already. I mean she just she fits in. You know, it's like everything else. We get we read about being last all the all the time, being fiftieth uh, there's uh, in in sports we're not 50th we we're we're in the top 10 percent if not at the top and I'm I'm proud for for the state too that the first female official is going to be from Mississippi. Rick Cleveland believes one day in the not too distant future Sarah Thomas will be honored here at the Mississippi Sports Hall of Fame as the first NFL female official. For Case 16, WAPT News at the Sports Hall of Fame. And Sarah Thomas really has worked her way up. She started working for Conference USA in 2007. Then she joined the NFL's officiating development program, worked some New Orleans Saints training camps, and also officiated an NFL preseason game last August.